<laughs> Welcome back, Summit County. Thanks for watching Summit Sunrise this morning here on TV8 Summit. I'm Lauren, and I'm here with Mike. Good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? I am great. How are Good. you? Good. I'm wonderful. It's a little chilly. I'm excited for the snow. No, the you know, uh, last year they had skiing this time of the yep. year. Yeah. So, you We're know, ready I, for I lived it. here for so many years. I can remember when they weren't even open in uh, Thanksgiving for skiing. <laughs> And at Christmas time, they had a limited number of passes they gave out. So wow. we're fortunate that we now have snow making and we we're able to have the skiing. Yes, exactly. Um, but you're not here to talk to us about skiing. You're here no, to talk not at all. No, not at all. You're here to talk to us about wine in the pines. Yes, wine in the pines. So what is that? Well, wine in the pines is a benefit. My wife and I started 32 years ago, and it benefits. It used to be called Cerebral Palsy Colorado, and now mm -hmm. they call it uh, Abilities Connections Colorado, and okay. it's been this way. And the funds from this benefit the Kelly Smith uh, Employment Center, which is named after our daughter Kelly, who has cerebral palsy and who is still with us. Oh, wow. And everything, so she's been there. So that's what it's about. So, what inspired you to start this? That's really Well, awesome. years ago, uh, we had a uh, ski shop, uh, Blue Valley Ski Rentals, and that stuff. And we wanted to do something. Uh, they'd started the National Cerebral Palsy Telethon, and we, we'd always watched it. And Kelly and her sisters and the girls in the neighborhood down in Dillon Valley used to go around door to door and raise money for the Jerry Lewis Foundation. We thought, well, now this is the cerebral palsy. So we called up and made an offer on uh, Saturday, and sun, uh, Saturday and Sunday of the weekend of the telethon and give them so much off our ski rentals. And that kind of got us going there. And the next year we got together with some friends of ours at Keystone and started the Wine in the Pines, the Keystone Ranch. And the first year we raised, uh, we raised just about uh, $4,000 and wow. we had about 100 people all from Summit County in there. And there were some from Denver and that stuff. And it's now over the 32 years we've raised in excess of $3 million and, uh, for this thing. And a lot of the money comes back into Summit County and primarily we do it through uh, the adult care center, daycare center over in Frisco because our daughter Kelly goes to that, so we give them, we help fund them some. So the, the money stays here in that, and we have now gone to the point where on Friday night, we're always sold out, we have about 140 people on wow. Friday night, and Saturday night we'll do somewhere between 800 and 1,000 people at the Keystone Conference at the convention center. Great, so you're mentioning Friday and Saturday night, is that this week that That's the event is happening? That's this week, right, yes. Uh -huh. And what time is it? Well, Friday night sold out. Saturday night, I believe, Friday starts sold at out. You can't go Friday. Yeah, go. <laughs> it's sold out every year. Yes. And uh, Saturday night, we have, uh, it starts, I believe, at 6.30. Okay. And tickets are available. They can go online at winethepines.org, and they'll be in the will call. Or if they prefer, they can come to my liquor store, Dillon Ridge Liquors. We sell them. Okay. And they're $130 in advance and $155 at the door. And if you uh, want to, you can come through the liquor store and buy them in advance all the way up to the, the event uh, at all times. We don't, uh, we keep it open and they can come in and buy the tickets from the liquor store, so. Great, so what are some of the highlights of the event that well, you're really excited the highlights, about? The highlight, I think, this year is something going to be very <laughs> special. Uh, the Hudson's Auto Source has been good friends of ours for years and they're very active in the community and very committed to the community. And they have donated a, uh, Cadillac ELR, the hybrid Cadillac, and we're going to auction that off on Saturday night. Wow. Okay, and that's going to be a wonderful thing. And it's, it's, it's a fabulous opportunity. And then another good friend of ours and a, another local business that's very good to the community is F.D. Taylor Electric from Breckenridge. And Todd Taylor, the son who's, and his dad, they have indicated that they, if somebody locally buys it here, uh, that Cadillac, they'll go in and they'll rewire the garage so they have a place to plug the Cadillac in. Wow, that's great. Okay, so we're trying to take care of all problems like that. And yeah. I'm trying to get, if somebody from Denver happens to buy it, because we have people from all over the state and people from all over the country come to this event. Wow. And, and the thing of it is a great part, I want to highlight about this because there's a lot of things that a lot of people don't know about this abilities connection thing. And the things I didn't know and found out. Uh, one of the things that this, that they have the employment center, okay. and that's just a broad based term, employment center, duh. Yeah. You know, what do they do? Well, what do they do? They take and help people with disabilities, and I mean all from young adults to adults and everything, 
find jobs. They've had uh, recently had a veteran from Afghanistan that was had been disabled and that stuff, inability to not having a job. Yeah. They train them, help them find a job, place them, get them involved in that stuff. So there's a lot of good things that are happening yeah. and that a lot of people aren't aware of. And so <clears throat> that's what it's all about. And it sounds like an absolutely wonderful event. I think I'm going to be there, so that'll be that's fun. Good. And if somebody wants to find out more information, what was the website that you said it's they called could go to? WindThePines.org. Or they can and, stop by your liquor store. Or stop by the liquor store. And the thing about <clears throat> it is, is the fact that a lot of the people have come every and they call it the adult prom. The oh. The adult prom. And this year, we're uh, for the auction. We've got uh, they've hired some people that uh, they're called the uh, auction divas. And, and one thing I, I've not seen them. I've gone on their website. They're very attractive young ladies, <laughs> and I mean they have done some of the biggest auctions in Denver. Wow. They're very good, very talented. So they won't have to listen to me and Doug Tisdale. They'll have this, and then also uh, the fact that that uh, they got the uh, 17th Street. Uh, I think it's 17th Street Gala type of thing for dancing and, and music and that stuff afterwards. So great. it's going to be a lot of fun. And the great part yes. about this, and I, I know we're pressed for time in that. Yeah, stuff, <laughs> But the great part about it is all the wineries, I mean, all of the distributors in the state of Colorado contribute to this. We'll have five to 600 different wines, all styles. Have some of the local breweries. Well, there'll be some uh, spirits there, some... Uh, single barrel bourbons and that type of thing there. And then also all the restaurants from Keystone come and they have a comp competition cool. uh, uh, between themselves to see who can do th <laughs> It's fabulous. And then Chef Ned, the ba uh, pastry chef at Keystone. The man is a true genius. When you see what he does, if you like chocolate, you need to come here because the man is a genius. Okay, well, Mike, thank you so much for okay. joining us. I'm sorry to cut you off, but we That's definitely have to go. Really great talking to you. It's going to be a really fun event, but thank you so much. Actually, more listening than talking, but thank <laughs> you very much. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Don't go anywhere. We're going to take a short break, but we'll be right back.